Hey guys, it's Belle. So today I am bringing you my September product empties. So I am really excited that it's going into October. I am so ready for fall, but I did have a nice September and I hope you guys did as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to show you everything I finished up this month. So going from left to right, I'm going to just focus first on the like body wash type products and bubble bath products. So um, I did use up a mini size of the comforter shower cream from Lush. I got this earlier in the year in a gift set that I had purchased and I really liked it. Now I will say, and it's true with any of these products, that I do prefer bar soap. That's just what I prefer. But it's not that I hate body wash, but I like bar soap more. So um, I'm not going to rush out and repurchase the comforter, but I would recommend it if you're someone who does like body wash products. It was very nice. It was very gentle. I loved the smell. It has almost like a very realistic, slightly tart berry kind of fragrance and it was very, very nice. I really loved the scent. So yeah. Um, then I also finished up from Philosophy a big 16 ounce size of the Bubbly Fragrance. This is one of their 3-in-1 shower products. and. I really, really loved it, and I'll tell you why I loved it so much, because I ended up putting a pump top on it and using it at the sink for hand soap, and I just really enjoyed it. It definitely mimics a very nice, sweet, light, effervescent, sparkling wine, and it actually really captures that like sparkling quality very very well so I absolutely find it refreshing and beautiful so I love this I definitely would recommend you guys smelling it if you ever have a chance to because it's great um, then my sister actually purchased the Shea Moisture um, this is the bubble bath and body wash like duo thing but I used it for um in the in the bubble bath so I loved it it's so creamy and so hydrating and I just found it very very gentle and moisturizing so I really enjoyed it and I think this would be great in the winter time if you had dry skin so I loved it for that so yes and it smells really really nice too and then lastly I used up a big size of the pure grace from philosophy bubble bath this is a really old product and I don't even know the last time this was available for purchase you can't buy this anymore but I used it up and pure grace is just so clean and refreshing and it was great for the bubble bath so I loved it so yeah I'm kind of sad to see that go but you can still do a bubble bath with uh, pure grace if you get the three in one so it's not too sad I suppose <laughs> Okay, so then I finished up some hair care products. So on the left, I used up one of the Fakai products. This is the um, Technician Color Care Color Protecting Glaze. And you're supposed to just put a couple of drops in your palm and kind of rub it in your hands and then apply it to your dry parts of your hair, basically. Um, I really would never recommend it or repurchase it. I found it a little bit hard to work with, like... I would put it in and then I would feel like my hair still needed more so I would put more in and then it felt like I had put too much in. So I just didn't think it was super easy to work with. Um, it made your hair a little shinier but it wasn't like great, you know. Um, then I also used up the two in the center, the Pantene BB Cream and then the Nexus Extra Gel. Those are just stuff that I use up all the time. They're regular type items for me. I love the BB Cream. Um, it's just a great first step for my hair because I have curly hair, so it helps with like frizz and flyaways, that kind of thing. It smooths everything out. And then the Nexus um, gel, the extra gel, I'm just trying to use this up in the in the rose gold packaging. When they made the transition from the tan packaging to the rose gold, I ended up hauling a few. I ordered them online and I didn't know that the formula had changed, so... I do have a couple still in my like backup supply, but I am in the process of using them up because the, the new formula is just terrible. I would never recommend it now, so do not buy it in the rose gold packaging. Um, then I also finished up from Pantene, one of the cleansing conditioners, and I believe that these have been discontinued, but it's similar to what a WEN product would be like. Um, it definitely, if you've ever used WEN, you know how it has sort of a um, like tingling menthol kind of feeling on your scalp. This does the same thing. Um, strangely enough, and Wen also recommends it for their product, you can shave with this. And I actually love it for shaving, but just be warned that if it is, like, if you're cold or anything like that, I would not recommend it because it makes your skin tingle with that menthol. So it's very refreshing, actually, in the hot summer, but I would never suggest it in the winter when you're already kind of more cold and that kind of thing. 
So for skincare type items that I used up, I'll go from left to right again. I used up in the blue glass bottle um, a CO Bigelow product, and this was actually something I purchased at my Bath and Body Works location, but it has been discontinued. This is the triple rose water, and I've never used any other rose water, so I really can't compare it, but I would say that it was a high quality product, and I personally used it for a toner, um, mostly in the mornings, just to kind of tone my skin, but it has a lot of uses. You can add it to shampoo and conditioner and other products. Um, it's supposed to just have like a really nice softening kind of effect. So I really liked it. It smelled wonderful and I would consider rose water again. Um, then I used up from my Sephora Playbox the Lancome sample. This is the Energy Deve. De de um, this is a very lightweight moisturizer. It was hydrating but it's very lightweight. It's almost kind of between a liquid and a typical type of lotion that you would use on your skin. It's somewhere in between. Very like fluid and that type of thing. Um, it was okay. I wouldn't buy it, but it wasn't bad. Then underneath that, I used up a uh, mud mask. This is from the Alaska Facial Mud Company. Um, and I actually learned about this company on Shark Tank. And I don't think any of the sharks bought her deal, but I really liked this product. I would buy it again. It's basically Alaskan mud and it has great like deep cleansing properties for your skin. But even if you're like dry or sensitive, you can still use this product. I think you just use it more frequently if you have oily or problematic skin. So I would definitely repurchase that again. I also used up some skincare peel type products. Um, so first off, I used up a Dr. Dennis Gross. This is a mini five day pack that you can get at Sephora. I think they're around like $16 for five treatments. So um, it's not a bad deal if you're looking for like an anti-aging type peel like that for a reasonable price. I think if you actually buy this product full size, it's between like $60 and $80, which I honestly probably wouldn't go through that many peel pads. They're designed for daily use, but I just think they're a little too intense for that. So I personally would recommend like once a week, something like that. Um, but anyway, they come in these little packets. So you have basically each treatment is two pads. So you put on the pad one and then you leave it on for two minutes and then you do pad two and that's the entire peel system. So they work together and I just find them very effective. My skin feels a lot smoother and more radiant so I do really like them. Um, then behind that I used up a 14 day trial set of these Juice Beauty peel pads and I actually really like the Juice Beauty moisturizers but I really hated these pads. Um, <laughs> I got them for travel because they're individually packaged and I thought they would be great so I did take them on a recent trip that we just took and they're just bad. I used them up because I'm just done with them. The pads are so incredibly small. They're really really tiny. They're much smaller than I would say your typical um, even just cotton round that you would get you know at the store I mean they're smaller than that and they're thin and I felt that they were kind of dry it was like they weren't saturated enough so and I saw no results from them so I just think they're the biggest waste of money and I would never recommend them then last but not least I did use up a be joyful foaming sugar scrub from Bath and Body Works I really love Bath and Body Works scrubs so this one was no different be joyful is not really my favorite scent ever but it wasn't bad but um I really liked the scrub it was very exfoliating and moisturizing so that was good I would buy the foaming scrub again so we also used up some hand soaps this month. Um, I am cheating a little bit on suntan. I do have a little bit left in there, but it will be gone here before October. I'm doing this video a little bit early. So um, as far as this scent goes, I really liked it. It's just like the candle that I burned last month. It definitely smells like suntan lotion, or if you're familiar with Yankee's um, Sun and Sand, it's kind of like that, but it's a little bit fruitier, a little bit brighter with like citrus notes and stuff. So I really, really like this a lot. I would repurchase it. Same with Watermelon Lemonade. I just really love this fragrance. It's beautiful. I would buy it again and again. However, I do regret a little bit buying the deep cleansing hand soaps. They work very well, but they're slightly drying, so I do prefer the foaming soap. So next time, I would probably buy them in the foaming formula, but they both smelled great. Um, then I used up a Golden Pineapple Luau, which is just a beautiful, like, juicy pineapple smell. I mean, if you like pineapple, you really cannot go wrong with this particular hand soap. 
it is just beautiful. So I would buy that again. And then a little surprise here, a little out of season. I did use up a retired scent, White Pear and Fig. This is from the Winter line in 2014. So it is retired, but I just think it's beautiful. It's really a nice scent for any time of the year. Even in the summer, it's one of those just more everyday kind of scents. It's not super seasonal, so it definitely worked well. And I really loved it. I would buy that again and again as well if I could. So yeah, a really good month for hand soaps. And then I also finished up some makeup products. So I used up one of these Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Glosses. And this was just a really pretty just nude shade. It had some shimmer in it, but it really went with everything. So I got a lot of use out of that. Um, this is in the color Superpower. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase that. It was a great a great one for sure. I really do like the Bare Mineral glosses. They might be my favorite glosses out there. Um, then I also used up some mascara samples. So I finished up from Smashbox. This is the X-Rated Mascara and this came in my Ipsy bag. I did unsubscribe from Ipsy in the springtime so I've had this for a few months now. Um, but I used it up. I did like it, but I wouldn't re I wouldn't buy it, you know. Um, then I also used up from one of my Sephora play boxes the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I hated this mascara. I did not like the wand. I did not like the formula. I would never purchase this or recommend it. So that was kind of a dud item, and I was surprised by that. I thought I would really like it, but I really didn't. So out of the two, I liked the Smashbox, but I wouldn't buy either of them. Um, then I also used up from Clarins, this is the three dot liner and I say used up very loosely because this would still work but I don't know if it's going to focus if you can see there. The tip has like three little prongs if you can see that there on the tip and I just found it really hard to work with. I don't know why someone would choose this over your standard like felt tip liner just I have so much better luck with like the Stila Stay All Day and those types of liners I just didn't really get the the three dot I did use it but it just wasn't very user friendly I think it's overly complicated for no reason so I would never repurchase that and then um I also used up a sample from Crabtree and Evelyn, and this is the Rose Water Perfume, and I really loved it, and I'm telling you guys this because if you want to splurge and buy this perfume, um, I mixed this with some of my body mist of Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath & Body Works, and if you mix the two together, you smell very, very close to... Um, pink petal tea cake. So I'm just throwing that out there. I was pleasantly surprised. So I might splurge on this sometime, but it's definitely rosy. So if you don't like rose fragrances, it's not for you. Well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching my September empties. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in October. Bye.